Hey folks, uh, this is Enter the Stars. I decided to switch gears a little bit here um, to maybe cover some lighter subject matter. <laughs> I think we've all gotten a little bit too serious about uh, the events in Sandy Hook. But, um, you know, according to this study, I just wanted to review this article that I found. Your cat, your house cat, your beautiful, cuddly, loving house cat, is a murderous feline capable of environmental genocide of billions of harmless creatures. So uh, I'm a cat lover. I don't personally have a cat right now. It's not out of choice. But um, I wanted to just talk about this article and how amazing it is. And I put links to it in, down in the description box. But um, this is the danger folks of gradualism um, I've heard people that hear some of the truths that I come out with and are faced with the facts and faced with uh, changing their whole paradigm and what I keep hearing is you know even if you know the government did have you know more control than they're supposed to you know I'm not doing anything wrong so uh, I, I have nothing to hide I you know I think the government should have more control. This is what I'm hearing from people. And it's shocking. But a, an article like this, I think, does a really good job of demonstrating exactly what the dangers are of having that attitude. And I'm not here to tell anyone how to think. I'm here to reveal and expose information so people can decide and choose for themselves. But this article is just a perfect example. Uh, so I'll just kind of do a quick review of the article here. Um, basically what they're saying here is cats kill billions of birds every year and even more tiny rodents and other mammals in the United States, a new study finds. According to the research published today in the Journal of Natural Nature Communications, cats kill between 1.4 billion and 3.7 billion birds and between 6.9 billion and 20 billion small mammals, such as meadow voles and chipmunks. Um, so already this, these poor cats are being characterized as vicious killers, vicious and effective killers, if we want to add that in there. And then they claim here in the study that the bird deaths may account for as much as 15% of the total bird population. So now we're approaching genocidal numbers. Uh, and, he call, and an animal ecologist with the Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute said, It's a staggering toll. Um, Mara and his colleagues were looking at human-related causes for bird wildlife deaths in the country, from windmills to glass windows to pesticides. But when they looked at the impact of the feline population, they were one of the biggest putative causes of bird demise in the country. So they've now demonized cats, and uh, if it was up to them, they would take all our cats along with our guns. So this is just part of the desensitization that's occurring, um, putting us to sleep, gradualism. You know, you put an article like this out, and then you get a whole you know um, a whole a whole lot of kids that would read this or parents who already were on the fence about cats no pun intended and um, could really this could really sway their opinion about about cats and um, I just think it's very unfair um, in my opinion and what the truth I believe is is that cats are actually very helpful in fact, the ancient Egyptians used cats to uh, keep the rodents away from the grain fields because rodents, rodents are very dirty animals. Now, rodents, in addition, have the right through natural selection to, to exist on this planet. But there is a natural order of things. And in, in, when we as human beings start dictating who should live and who should die, that's when uh, we get into some very controversial thinking. 
go over a little bit more of this article and then I'll kind of leave the rest up for you guys uh, on the link to kind of filter through this. You'll be shocked at some of the accusations they make towards cats. Um, let's see here. Major scourges for wildlife were not those free-ranging owned cats, but instead feral and unowned cats that survive on the streets. Each of those kitties and the team estimates between 30 million and 80 million of them live in the United States. They kill between 23 and 46 birds a year, and between 129 and 338 small mammals. Oh, those would be probably mice and rats that crawl around in the sewers. So uh, we've got feral cats doing the work uh, that the city won't do. And uh, so... Uh, I'll include the link. I don't want the video to go too long here, and uh, you guys can read this, but I think you're going to get a kick out of it. Um, take care, and uh, be safe. This is Enter the Stars.